Hello Internet Whelps, I'm Bonga and today we're just going to sit down for two or three minutes and talk about my impressions of the Battlefield Hardline single player. Around the middle of October I was kindly invited down to London for a press event where myself and some other YouTubers and journalists were given hands on with two missions from the single player campaign. I'm purposely not going to touch on the story as I don't want to reveal any spoilers but what I'm going to focus on is the characters, the, the models, the voice acting, the animations, um, gameplay, uh, AI, stuff like that. So let's get into it. The first thing that pulled me in was the characters. Graphically the models look pretty damn good. Tied into the voice acting and the facial animations it gave me the same kind of engagement and feeling that I had the first time I played LA Noir. Something I wasn't really expecting from Battlefield Hardline. Story and dialogue wise there wasn't anything that stood out negatively and at parts it was even quite funny. We did only get to play two missions though so I can't really comment on how good the story is going to be overall. We just have to wait for that for another time. Moving on to the gunplay, um, I found it uh, pretty much standard battlefield, which in my opinion is a good thing. The feel and sound of the weapons is good, um, beefy shotguns sound beefy, uh, tactical stealthy silencers sound tactical and stealthy, uh, and yeah, overall uh, I was pretty happy, pretty satisfied with the, the way that the, the, the actual game itself plays. I didn't find the enemy AI to be too stupid either. They seem to have several states of arousal, giggity. Uh, can raise you from completely relaxed and unaware that you're in the vicinity up to high alert and actively hunting for you. If you manage to give them the slip once you've accidentally blundered around the corner with your shotgun guns blazing, uh, they never return to their originally completely idle state. They stay on edge and I think their cones of vision, uh, the, the cones that can detect you if you walk in them, uh, remain at a slightly larger size than they were when they were in their fully idle state. Being a police officer you can even flash your badge at some enemies and they will comply and let you uh, cuff them. Uh, however, do be careful because if there's more than uh, two or three and you take your eye off the ball then one of them will try and pull a gun on you. So uh, yeah, it's, it's almost like pack mentality in the AI. Before I actually got my hands on the hardline single player, I was thinking to myself, where's the USP? Uh, and by that I don't mean the universal self-loading pistol, I do mean the unique selling point. Why should I give a shit about hardline and why do I want to play it over all these other you know, battlefield titles? Uh, what's different and, and what's going to really draw me in? After I'd got through the tutorial, which was on rails, the rest of the game was pretty open plan. I found pretty quickly that, okay, yeah, there's an objective, but I can achieve that objective however I want. So I can use a grappling hook to climb up to the top of a parking garage or I can use a zipline to smash in through a window or use C4 to set a trap and then go around the other side, blow it up, cause a distraction and, and move in through a different way. And along that play it your way line of thinking there's a fairly nice array of guns available to you. I'm pretty sure there's between 50 and 60 weapons in the game. There's non-lethal tasers, handcuffs, there wasn't any beanbag shotguns unfortunately. Um, silence weapons for Sam Fisher, uh, if you want to play it that way. Some loud, meaty weapons and explosives that can tear up the environment. Pretty much, whatever you want, there's going to be something for you. Another little thing that has been added, uh, past the standard kind of customization of weapons, which we're used to in, in loadouts in Battlefield, like you know, different barrels, grips, stocks, silencers, etc. Um, in Hardline, you can slap on some pretty CSGO-esque skins for your weapons. Fancy a golden deagle? Done. Neon pink uh, zebra print uh, machine gun? Yep, that could be done. Not a problem. Personally, I'm not into the vibrant kind of neon pink skins. Uh, I don't really like it in CSGO either, but if it works for Go, then perhaps it's going to work in Hardline as well. So in closing then, whelps, after my two to three hours with the single player campaign of Battlefield Hardline, I'm still looking forward to playing the full game. Um, there's quite a few merits in there, a uh, few little things that I'd change, but generally overall I'm pretty hyped. I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a comment, hit a like button, uh, if you didn't like it then leave me a comment, tell me why, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Good egg!